What is up squad, it is your squid, aka the Anxious Squid, here at Anxious Squid Productions. Uh, if this is the first time you've stumbled across my channel, please don't just judge me on this one. Have a poke around the channel, watch a couple of different videos from a couple of different playlists and uh, decide if you like me. Then hit the subscribe button because I'm trying to get to a thousand before the end of the year. My progress halted a little bit last week but I think it's going to be touch and go. So like, let's try and get there. It's less than a hundred in like six days or so. So let's try and smash it out. Um, if you could help me, that would be great. <laughs> the the video I had that went like the most viral was NFL biggest hits. So I'm thinking about watching another one of those to try and milk the uh, milk the views. But you know that video isn't this one. You know that this video is something entirely different because you've seen the thumbnail and you've seen the title. So let me decide while I'm looking here, shall I? Which one I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I did the Silver Sluggers last week at some point. So let's see. Today's video can be the longest home runs of the 2019 MLB season. Let's get into it. Alright, thanks guys for tuning in as always. Before we get into the video, I do just want to give a quick plug to Koality Sunglasses. These guys have sponsored this video. If you click the link in the description, you can go and check out some awesome sunglasses. The first edition ones are almost all the way out now, I'm fairly certain. Uh, these guys, are, they're designed in Australia. 10% of your purchase will go to Koala uh, Conservation Fund and stuff like that. Like, it's it's... You're helping koalas out and you're getting some of the best sunnies on the market. So check them out. Use the link in my description. Use code SQUID and you'll get 10% off as well. So using code SQUID, you get 10% off. You're still giving 10% to koala conservation and you still look like a fl like the flyest motherfucker in the room with mad sunglasses on. So get on to that um, and I'll get on with the video, shall I? All right. So we're, as I said before, this is going to be the longest home runs of the 2019 MLB season. So let's do this, shall we? I'm going to get this screen recording. It will appear on yours in one second. There we go. Hopefully I did that magically. Um, and yeah, like I said, longest home runs. Let's do this. I'm fairly certain uh, like about 28 people commented in my video of the Silver Sluggers that... Um, you know, like, it's it, it's sort of like watching someone do a deke and then shoot and not watching it go in the net in hockey. Because the, the, the funnest part of a home run is seeing the ball sail over the over the bleachers, you know? So it's, a, it's an interesting... It was an interesting video, but I've been told to watch this one instead, so I'm doing that. <laughs> Let's turn this up. Oi! You can tell from like the noise that that was going far. So, I know, oh, that's annoying. Um, it doesn't matter what I do, I'll put the phone on do not disturb mode, I'll delete that, like I'm gonna have to start deleting the messenger app, I think, but anyway. Um, like no one will message me for hours and hours and hours and then as soon as I start filming, that's when people will message. Anyway, what I was going to say is, I know that if you hit a home run, if you catch a home run, you get to keep the ball, right? So maybe this is probably a stupid question, but I always thought it was a bit of a shit going cricket, right? If you hit a six and the ball hit a brick wall, right, the bowlers still had to use that ball that was like torn to shreds and like warped some kind, sometimes because of the force of hitting the wall. I imagine, like I was about to say, with the baseball landing on concrete like that, would that affect the pitch's throw? But is it a unique ball every pitch? Or is it a unique ball every time until someone hits it out? Like, if somebody could explain that process to me, that'd be awesome. There's another message as well, for fuck's sake. Correa hitting one to the statues here at Camden Yards. His 16th home run of the year, and the Astros lead it 9 to 1. Oh my, Correa. He may have the only flag out there. That's 474 feet. That was cool. Oh wait, 474 feet? How big is that? I'm trying to do some calculations in my head. That's a big hit, regardless. Like, he may have the only flag out there. That's 474 feet. That's just the longest one of the season. And the pitch is swung on and blasted to deep left field. Back it goes, and welcome to Baltimore. Boom! Look at the bounce on that as well. Like, that's got to be. What are baseballs made of? Is that still is that cork underneath leather like with a cricket ball or first pitch he sees leaves the ballpark. I love it. That mask as well, not mask, but that like 
batting helmet has a big thing over the face that I haven't seen before, but it seems to me that that's the smart thing to do. I've got a video lined up that I'll be watching probably straight after this one, but that you'll see in two or three days' time, um, is, is face shots, you know? And I'm a little bit scared, because, like, that's, you know, that's almost death if you hit it in the right spot of the face. Like, you get hit in the temple and stuff at a certain pace and whatnot, but that looks like clever protective equipment, you know? So... Oh, he got under that one. You can see, like, I had the pause symbol there still, but we'll, we'll watch it again. But watch him, like, scoop hit it. He's like a... It, yes, bang. Up and under, through it. That's a real bottom arm, like, sort of drive, you know? Ooh, straight out of the guts of the bat, too. 474 feet. That's a good call. I can't believe a human being can do that. That's a great camera angle. That is a fantastic camera angle. Just gives you the distance of the pitch and then the distance. Yeah, like that was good. Oh, I like that shot. I like your lefties. Maybe it's because I'm a lefty and I feel like, you know, somehow like I, I'm responsible for awesomeness happening when other left-handers do it. But... <laughs> 474 as well. It's out of the ballpark. Put a Y on the end of his name. That'll make him happy. Oh, stop it, mate. Stop it. Just the casual... Nearly hit everything down there, but the casual fucking swing. Saunter off to first like I've done it before. Like, walk into the dugout like a fucking rock star. Wow. That was an absolute moonshot by Jackie Bradley. I mean, you put it in his wheelhouse. Like, that's... So like, yeah, like that one was pretty much gift wrapped. I don't know how fast it was, but that one was like, if you had to pick where you wanted a ball to be thrown so that you could hit it as far as you possibly fucking could, that is where you would pick to have it thrown, I reckon. Like, at least it was 478. Oh, that one was sliding in as well. He did well to get into it. Nice. Are those actual trees or was that like a sight screen with a, a mural on it? Or something. I like this Colorado team. I, don't, I haven't picked a baseball team or a football team yet, but I'm leaning towards Colorado in the baseball for some reason. Love that. Look at him. He knew it was out. Knew it was a home run. Out of the park. Bang. I'm going to hit that and then drop. See us. Watch me strut. Like. He would have been able to use the momentum of the ball there as well. Like, obviously, you've got to hit against the... Like, it's coming straight at you. But if you're if, if he's the right-hander and it's coming across here, and you're also a right-hander and you can smack it out there, you're sort of using the pace of the ball as well as your own skill. You know, like, that shot was half as a result of where the pitcher threw it, I think, you know? I mean, all shots are. That was a naive thing to say. But you know what I mean. Oh. oh, he knew it. As soon as it hit the bat, he was like, nope, see ya. Oh, that chicken looked like she was ready to catch a ball. Every muscle in his body is coordinated together there. That's like, that's a really good angle to watch. You can, he's, like, I know that, that a pitcher 
tries to use the whole momentum of his body, and that's why he's moving his leg as well when he's pitching. But I didn't necessarily realize that the batter was hocking himself up like that as well, you know, and like sort of uh, what we would call in cricket like a charge, where you take a couple of steps down the pitch to try and get to the ball sooner. Um, which, you know, if you're not going to charge a fastball because it makes the reaction time slower uh, or less, fewer or lesser. I don't know what the right word is. But, um, yeah, like that's... It, I imagine that's putting his oomph for it. Like his whole body weight is in his, his, his left arm there while he's whacking through because he's got that momentum of the step. That's... I presume that's really good technique. I don't know what good technique looks like in baseball, but I presume that's it. Like, boom, full breadth of his waist, you know? Like, that's his his entire body weight is going into that hit. I don't know who that was. Somebody let me know as well who that guy was, because I'll add him to my list. Bang! No give in the bat. The bat just kept going, and the ball, like... I'm sure if you slowed that down to, uh, like, super ultra slow-mo, you would be able to see the ball sort of, like, bend back over the bat and then fucking pop back out, you know, like Newton's third law sort of thing. And, like, there was no give in that bat just then. None. Man, I'm getting into baseball. The more I watch it, the more I want to play some as well. Another one right in his wheelhouse, but, like... Nice of the uh, commentator to show his impartiality as well. Stay fair! <laughs> I presume all commentate, all teams have their own commentators, but... Who's that guy? That guy looked like a... Like the werewolf from London or whatever it is. Like... That is a werewolf. That is not a human. What is going on there? The guy on the left, he's got long hair and a long beard. You don't look like a professional sports player. You look like somebody they've picked up off the street. That's cool. I want to know who that guy is. That's mad. Not the guy that hit it. The guy that met him at home plate. Bang! Go and chase that, he says. That's like, that reminds me. That reminds me of a shot. Like, I'm pretty sure it was... Uh, was Viv Richards and someone, I can't remember, like this, this big West Indian cricketer back in the 80s and 90s and stuff, right? And he was a big dude and he hit the ball further than fucking anyone at the time, right? And he was having a bit of a bit of a hard time at the wicket one day against this English bowler, right? And the English bowler's feeding him with sledges because he's like, oh, I might be able to get out Viv Richards here. This is sick, you know? And he's absolutely feeding him, um, getting in his ear, chirping. You know, I don't know if sledging is the right word slang-wise here, but like trash talking the, his opponent you know he's trash talking uh, Viv Richards and he ends up bouncing him right and Viv tries to play a massive awesome shot and he just misses the ball clean right and so the bowler walks down the wicket and says to him oh it's red about this big and it's made of leather mate why don't you try and hit it and so the very next ball I shit you not Viv Richards hits it out of the fucking park and says you know what it looks like mate go and help find it and it's just like that, to me, is one of the best ever instances of, like, come up and, you know, instant karma. And that shot, for some reason, just reminded me of it. Like, you know what it looks like. Go and find it, champ. Nice. They're all happy for him, aren't they? Bang, another one, like an like 85 mile an hour pitch at the full extent of my arm with the most visibility I can have. Like, just give me the home run. Just write in that I have a home run. Don't even bother throwing it, champ. That's... Like, I don't know what he was trying to do there because that was... That was gift wrap. Like... You hear the echo off that bat? That was awesome. Too. Absolutely. Plus 20 odd. That was an awesome video. I'm super pumped to watch more baseball. Uh, 
Thank you as always, or uh, well not as always, because this is the second video they've sponsored, but a big thank you, as I said earlier in the video, goes to Koality Sunglasses. Uh, they did sponsor this video, click the link in my description, go check them out, you're helping out koalas, koalas are cool, it's everyone's favourite part of Australia, right? Koalas. So, grab some Koality Sunglasses and you'll be sweet. Uh, and yeah, this here is the list of players that I am wanting to look into and that I have looked into. Um, I'm pretty much positive I'm going to go on a bit of a baseball kick here today, but I might do some, I might go baseball, football, baseball, football. We'll see, right? But if your favourite player for football, baseball, hockey, um, basketball, any, any sport, any North American sport, uh, and I mean that via the continent, so I'm not saying that, you know, hockey's American or anything like that, but uh, any sport you think I would be interested in now that I've moved here, if you have a favourite player that is not on that list, please let me know and I'll add them to the list. Eventually, I will work my way all the way through the list. So, yeah, um, this was the, the longest home runs of the season. I'm excited to see next season now and, and to pick a team. If you've got a baseball team and you want me to follow them, let me know. Um, it, hi fi John, I know yours is the Cubs. Thanks for letting me know. You let me know every baseball video, which is great. Uh, I have a soft spot for the Cubs just because of you. And I have a soft spot for the Yankees because of my mate John who follows them as well. But for some reason, I don't know, I'm looking at the uniforms and I'm going, I kind of like Colorado. For some reason, you know, I think they're cool. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. So thanks for watching. If this was the first time you stumbled across one of my videos, have a poke around the channel. Don't just decide if you like me based off this one. Uh, watch, you know, two or three of my videos and then smash that subscribe button because, as I said earlier, I'm trying to hit a 1,000 before the end of the year and I've got, like, three days or something. So, yeah. Thanks very much. Uh, I, I will see you guys when I look at you. You will see me when you look at me. Thanks for watching.